Hey guys, I'm Amped for another Facebook Live with ya. I want to talk a little about it being November. <laughs> Straight up, when did that happen? Uh, this week on the podcast, I released an episode that we do for the first episode of every month, the three things you must know this month. Uh, this month, all social media focused. We had two Facebooks um, and an Instagram thing. With the Facebook stuff, I've done some lives on them already. We talked about them earlier this month and late last month uh, about the kind of Facebook ads I like to run this time of year, which are mostly retargeting ads uh, and some newsfeed changes stuff. I talked about that in my most recent Facebook Live. Uh, what I want to talk about today specifically is number three on that list, Instagram stories. I know a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of you <laughs> Love the idea of Instagram stories, but you're kind of at a loss for what to actually share. Um, the idea of having to get all gussied up to do it and and have something relevant to say, or do you just sort of share everything from your day? And here's the deal is you can do whatever you want, um, but what's probably going to engage best for your audience is somewhere in the middle. So I always, 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 always go back to one thing when it comes to what am I supposed to share in this place? And that's who are you trying to talk to? Ultimately, knowing who your ideal client is, who your ideal follower is, who your ideal reader, listener, audience, whatever the thing may be that you're trying to get them to or you're trying to talk to, who are they? What do they want to hear from you? <laughs> like, that's ultimately it. Um, you guys like to hear about social media stuff from me because that's what I do. So that's what I talk about on Instagram stories. Um, you won't see a lot of pictures of, like, my regular life on Instagram stories. You won't see, you, you never see pictures of my kid on Instagram or any of my work social media. I have one... <laughs> private Instagram account, and that's where pictures of the kid reside. Um, so go back to what do they want to hear from you, and there's your content. It might be a mixture of behind the scenes and tips. One of the things I really love to do with Instagram stories, and it's something we did this week, and that's one of the reasons I want to talk about it that was really fun, was I polled my audience on a possible webinar that I'm thinking about running. And I got an overwhelming 100% yes that you guys wanted this. So guess what? We're going to do it. We, we ran the poll here on Facebook as well. I got so much engagement in the poll and Instagram stories, though. So much more than Facebook. Although, on Facebook, I can add gifts, and that's like next level I'm in. <laughs> if you know me at all, you know that that's a, that's a winner for Stacey. Um, but I got an overwhelming yes. So guess what? Now we're going to do it. And I have a built-in audience ready to hear about it that already said, yes, we want it. Use Instagram stories to qualify those people to engage, to make sure you're using what you're doing is on the right track. Um, another thing we're doing sort of big picture right now is our 2018 planning. I'm sure many of you are also doing that or thinking about doing it or getting ready to do it. So I asked kind of, hey, would you like to see more of this here? You'll notice that my Instagram profile has been pretty dead for about, I don't think I've posted anything in like a week or two. And that's because we're shifting a little. But you know where I haven't been quiet? Instagram stories. Because guess what? It expires in 24 hours. So the great place for me to get in, engage, get feedback, do something that is maybe a little less polished, try some things out and see how it goes before it goes someplace like here or someplace like my main profile feed. I can see how something's going to work. So think about using Instagram stories in that way. So it's a way to just deliver what your audience wants from you. It's a way to engage with them and connect with them in a way that feels way more one-to-one. -one. And it's also a way to get feedback from them, to test and qualify ideas. You know, we talk about this a lot with product launch launches, you know, testing a market and seeing if there is an audience for whatever it is that you want to sell. Well, <laughs> so essentially what I did is I, I qualified an idea. I went, hey, I'm thinking about doing this webinar. Would you guys be into it? And they said, yes, so we're going to do it. That's a great way to use that space. So get away from the, I don't know what to say. 
I don't know what to do, and shift into start thinking about some things you can test there that maybe impact how you use other networks or maybe impact how you show up on Facebook Live. Use that as a testing ground. Use it as an engagement point and use it as a fun way to connect because ultimately that's what this is about. It's about connecting. It's about conversations because connecting and conversations, that's what leads us to the conversions. That's what leads us to the sales. That's what leads us to a no brainer. Yes. When it's, Hey guys, I've got this webinar for you on 2018 planning. And guess what? There's going to be a pitch for it at the end for working with me in a really cool way next year. Uh, are you in? Yeah, I'm in. Of course I'm in. <laughs> See what I did there? See? See how it works? All right. That's it. I want to keep you super brief for you. We're right about five minutes now. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, hit me in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. Uh, and of course, if you haven't listened to Tuesday's episode yet, there's a link uh, in the description for the video. That's where you'll find it. It's right about 15 minutes. It's super easy to jump into. Again, we're talking about the news feed changes here on Facebook, um, the power of retargeting ads, especially this kind of year, time of year, when you're seeing those, uh, those cost per click, cost per conversion numbers go up because there's just so much competition. Uh, and then number three, we're talking a little bit about Instagram stories. And there's also a little bit of a tease for what's coming up in December uh, episode wise. In fact, there's going to be a whole episode on Instagram stories in December, spoiler alert. Uh, and what's ahead for backstage next year, um, which again, spoiler alert, it's a lot more strategy focused stuff, which I'm super excited about. Okay. I'm really leaving now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Check out the podcast episode. And if you, of course, if you have questions, best place to ask them is inside hit the mic backstage, uh, or in the comments below. I will see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a good Friday. Bye.